love the way that you're balancing like what's good for the students, the social learning, the pedagogy stuff with what's good for you, minimizing like the work that you do and giving them the, the opportunity. And I would that. also just say, I don't think students beyond the sort of they don't want my voice to dominate, they don't need me to come in and comment on everything they say. They don't need to hear me that often. So. Can I ask one uh, sure. physical question? So I've taught in those classrooms in social sciences. <laughs> and so when you ask them to get together as a group, yeah. how do you do that? Like, do they know before the class begins that you're going to ask them? And do they know each other's faces? What is, because those chairs are. It's horrible. Yeah. No, it's quite horrible. And you'll have, like, there'll be that moment where there's 20 people over here just standing, waiting to get it sorted out. I just pause and relax and breathe through that and say nasty things about the classroom facilities on campus. Um, there's lots of good ones, but those aren't ones. Um, yeah, I let them come in class and sit wherever they want, and then I tell them when I want them to move around, and I'll do the, okay, let's have group one and two in the back of the room and nine and ten up front, find your, and I think of that in part as a way to break up the 75 minutes, too. Let's get you up and get you moving and deal with the hassle of trying to find a different place to sit, and it'll wake you up a little. So, yeah. yeah, I have one suggestion that, that works pretty well, I think. If you have a large room with, you know, a theater-like seating arrangement, you put the people in and leave the, a, a row empty between oh. teams. And so yeah. then you can walk through walk those back. empty rooms and kind of, you That's know, good. interact with the, yeah. with the groups individually. Yeah. Because that is challenging, trying to interact with the groups. That's probably the most, that's a great idea. Because that's a very challenging thing physically. Because otherwise you're climbing over chairs. And, right. yeah, yeah, too old for that. Hey, we've got an activity sheet where you guys can go ahead and jump around in these tools. Um, and if you don't get through everything here in the next 10 minutes that we're going to be doing this, which is very possible, you can take this home and try it on your own in your own sandbox. Um, but you should all have access and an instructor view for, uh, for the active teaching lab canvas. Uh, thing. We could actually try to have a discussion as a group. Um, if somebody would like, you all have instructor privileges, so if somebody would like to make a group and invite the people around you into your group, um, we can do that. And one thing that was kind of fun um, that we found out Monday, oh, I'm sorry, that was in the Google collaborations. Never mind. If you, if you create a, if you create a a collaboration and you assign a group to it and then you assign other individual individuals to it, it crashed and kind of gives you a page error, which is kind of fun. It's, it's a cute little um, error message. Uh, so groups versus group sets, or you call them categories, mm -hmm. like discussion and presentations, things like that. Uh, creating the group discussions, same as creating discussions, except you use groups. Um, adding rubrics, and we've got whole, um, on the second page, under easy, limited resources in past labs, we've done whole labs on rubrics and outcomes and things like that. Um, and then some teaching and learning hints underneath that. So get into, how many of you have already used groups? All right, and are there, well, after, think about the best things that you do in groups, because in about 10 minutes, five, 10, seven minutes, we're gonna come back and ask you to share what your best hints with groups are, okay? All right, dig in. And again, if you've got a mobile device, I'm very interested in seeing how groups work on mobile devices. I've heard bad things about the structure. Mobile devices, mobile tools. Sarah. 
on the online version of this on the second page, there's a special script mm -hmm. on navigating the group discussions. But I thought since you like scripts, you might be interested in getting into that. I don't know if you've been on the campus community looking at Jim Jones and um, his work. Mm -hmm. on the second page of that. Right below easy. Oh, right above easy. There it was. Crocodile speed grader thing? Um, she's not doing craft that, just like oh. find the. Yeah, so like. I think she's just how to find the. Grader. She just wants to be very straightforward, very simple. How to find your graded rubric? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just how to see it. Yeah. How to see stuff in the I sent book. a link to the. Well, there's a link for students for like how do I see feedback from the instructor. Uh -huh. um, so that's that was pretty straightforward. That's straightforward. Right. What they see. I don't have, um, I have not seen one. I totally agree that there is, it's crazy because we don't, we don't know. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think of a way, even when I'm a student in somebody else's class, mm -hmm. because I'm a sub account admin, right. I see others, it's I don't see what the students part. see. Yeah. Right. So I can you know, work with my team to enroll them, and then I could, of course, like, yep. do that back and forth. Yeah. I think we created just like PDF screenshots, which I know is very similar to what like, yeah. Canvas does anyways, but maybe a little simpler. Um, and that seems to be We just, um, we have Snag it, which is just a little bit. Screenshot, and then we have your Twitter and the quick button. The thing about the rubric is, depending on how they go into it, if they go through the assignment or if they go through the gradebook, to assign their feedback, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't remember if we just direct, I think we just direct them one way to us. I'm sure I do. Um, what are the ones who do? I think it's a choice. I should And she is Oh, some of them are dead. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So they were all supposed to come up. Yeah, yeah. And Any that's, questions that's, that are coming up? I haven't ever gotten bridge. Like you know what? I would say. I used to do it in college. I used to be able to do it. So I would just do it right in this team. That's how I know it's created. No, right. Um, and I can't remember. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But then they changed. The um, betting is that instructor always has lots of people. Oh, okay. It's gone. You know, from, from me. Because she found out she was before we got on the course. Yeah. Um, all right. Mike's first. Now the other is that she's just one. I don't know. 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 I
times, those same discussion sections of TAs. And the other thing that's definitely true is just the, you get everybody participating. Almost everybody, which is, and, and those aspects I like. But, but there's not spontaneity, and there's not, it, it's very, you know, that's the, that's the downside of the high structure. discussion it will show me every post that that student has made and right so it will show me here's their initial post here's the response they made I can see they've done one of each and I can get in there right so that makes that really easy if you were trying to assign like a grade to the whole group I don't know hey John yep do you know when you create a discussion can a discussion be a group assignment so that you grade the whole discussion and give the whole group the yep. same grade for it. And you can't do that. Uh, I just don't know. If you can. Yeah. So the first part of the question is yes, mm -hmm. and the second part of the question is I don't know. Yeah. So because there is that whole like make this a group discussion, make this discussion group discussion. Right, and that so, is just like then you choose your group category. And yeah. You know, but if it's like under assignments, when you create an assignment, there's the thing that says, is this a group assignment? You can say yes. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody know the answer to that one? If you create a group discussion, can you grade everybody in a group discussion? And then I have another question. Uh, <laughs> Where does this list come from? That's everybody in the act of teaching? Mm -hmm. No, it's no. just 27 people who have the, we have 300, I think. Probably. Those would be the people enrolled as students in the course. So those of us who are currently <coughs> enrolled as instructors. Are those the people who haven't responded to their invitation yet? Because. Seems like you're, oh no, that's oh, yeah. These are just I think it's the role, depending on the role, as you said. Yeah, because right. it only lets you make groups. Yeah, just so Charles here is still a, a student. Yeah. Interesting. Jacob's a student three times. So different sections in the, in the different sections. So yeah, apparently, if you're making groups. Well, these are student groups, so they're just students. And so instructors can't be part of the group. Does that sound reasonable? They're probably part of all the groups, right? Yeah. 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 Interesting. So another thing that I just noticed, um, somebody 
Julie brought it up earlier. It used to be in Canvas that when I assigned people, um, I could assign them to multiple roles. And it looks like I can no longer do that. So I used to, used to be able to say, oh, I want to it's working. Edit mm -hmm. role, and I could check box. This was a check box, and I could check student, teacher, whatever, whatever. And so instead of being just a student or a teacher, you could be a teacher and a student and uh, <coughs> multiple roles, which never worked. It was very frustrating because that never worked. But but there when you want to, like, one solution is to make that person an instructor and then they have, they can see the student view, but you you want them to actually have both roles in the class. Well, so for this kind of a faculty development, professional yeah, yeah. development thing, it'd be nice to be able to be like, hey, yeah. did everybody see it as a student and now see it as a, yeah. an instructor? Mm -hmm. Again, getting to that, that uh, question that um, we had about we can never really see what the student view, oh, what right. the you students see. Yeah. Other questions? We're not giving any answers currently today. But it's all about questions. Um, so the, just trying to clarify, a group set is several groups in it, and when you create a discussion, you assign it to the set, and then they're already <coughs> grouped. Just want to make sure I've got the window clear. Or you can differentiate and assign a discussion to a particular group, a specific group within a group set if you want to. You can, because all I'm saying is being able to assign it to a group set. So when you scroll back down to the assign portion of that, you get the standard differentiated assignments box where it says assign to everyone, you can change that to assign to a particular to a group. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm not seeing anything that lets you give a group grade for a group discussion. Uh -huh. So for that, you'd want to create a separate assignment that's assigned to the groups and have them maybe upload a screenshot of their discussion. Or, some, like, or some way to, yeah. If you want, really wanted to pull it into the gradebook as a group grade. Or as John does, the summary. Right. Just have one would be a summarizer. And yeah, and then you could say. And Morton talks about that with the synchronous discussions. This is why she has these three different roles. Somebody has to create the group, and then in the discussion, they put down who were the group members, and that's it for their assignment, you know, that. And then somebody else posts the discussion, um, and that's a cumulative thing. So she checks that one first, and then she grades all three of them the same. But that's a little bit more administrative work for her. So this is, I, last time I was here, I tried to explain this beef of mine about Canvas. So in general, I love Canvas. But when you're in here viewing a particular group, it's got you within the group. Uh -huh. And there's no particularly easy way to get back just to the course. John, no, I have You're going to have a solution. I have a for solution me. for you. Okay, because I want that. I haven't. Because I, you know, I can go over here. I can switch groups. But where are you going to let me? Just, what if I just want to bounce back to my course page and I don't want to go through dashboard? I just saw this this morning as I was having breakfast. Voila. Voila. In community, look up James Jones. He's written a script in Chrome that lets you, because here's your problem. Take three, three clips exactly. to get to a group discussion, and other than the problem of this yeah. other thing is a problem. And then from from the group discussion to the next group dis uh, discussion, then you got to do more stuff, mm -hmm. and it takes you back to the activity stream and not to the discussion. So I think this is the problem you're yeah, talking I about, right? So. so he's got this whole post that okay. talks about how to work through all of this, and there's a there, you know it looks tricky, but scripts aren't that tricky, right, Sarah? Nope. <laughs> Help you set them up. All right. So and then he's got a whole video on how to do this. Oh, I should look because so, it's not a huge. It's just one of those annoying extra clicks moments where yeah. I want something different. Um, and there's this 
in the last two days, there's been this huge thing on the cannabis community where people are like, why aren't you ever listening to my great ideas? And they go back and talk about, oh, we are listening, but we just can't do everything all the time. And here are the top 15 things that we're going to be prioritizing in the next six months. Okay. So they're trying to be very open about all of that. Yeah. Would reading the whole thing in speed grader be a easier to navigate solution? The only thing there is when I have them working in groups, then all speed grader gives me is what, for each student, what that student has written. I think there's a button to expand it to show the context the whole, of the oh, whole yeah, discussion. Oh, yeah, I think you're right to show the whole group. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's interesting. Well, that would be an integrated discussion, which I don't know if I have any. discussion. But here's where it would be nice if you could make a discussion, a group assignment, yeah. and be able to respond. Because then I could do my entire, if I could go in and do my entire replies right here in SpeedGrader mm -hmm. and my grades, that would be cool. Second window. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's basically <laughs> Any other questions? Thoughts on this? Did you all learn something new? Put your hats, yes, I did. <laughs> Good. Me too. You leave with more questions, or you leave with more questions than you came with? What did you learn, John? What did I learn? I learned about this whole like speak. This is a great example of this. Mm -hmm. A lot of the uh, the how to the, the the tips that he taught about how to um, how to make the teaching better and uh, easier for the instructor, like the multiple. Um, I wrote, I wrote them on the activity sheet, on the back of the activity sheet, so I wouldn't forget them. So. Hey, we are just about out of time again today.